Welcome to this special presentation, scar mineralization. And this presentation is based on a five hours presentation of Lawrence Miner and three hours of presentation of Xiao Shang Chang. And um, this presentation is 15 minutes, has everything about uh, scar mineralization in copper, gold, and zinc deposits. And and this is dedicated to students who are at the university or students who are um, just uh, finished and they're looking for a new job. And any other uh, professionals that uh, needs to know about um, scar mineralization in copper, uh, gold, and zinc. So prepare to enjoy and enjoy it as much as you can. Hello, hello, this is Sebastian Moyapasa from Tucson, Arizona, United States, and you are in the channel Geology, Life, and Healing, and this time we are going to talk about how to recognize mineralization in the in a scan type of deposits. Now we are ready to, to start in the uh, scan deposits. So why scans? We have uh, copper, uh, gold, copper, zinc, uh, tungsten, lead, zinc, molybdenum, iron, and minor, including rare element and uranium. And common, more than 1,630 scan deposits described in the literature in the South America, North America, China, um, Indonesia, Australia, Europe, have lots and lots of scar deposits. Next one, why in scars? Major source of uh, uh, tungsten and tin, and a significant source of base metals and gold. Um, example, Antamina, Peru, uh, 2,968 million tons of, of 0.89% of copper has zinc, has silver, has molybdenum. Very impressive. I like it. Why is a second example is Grasberg, uh, Eastberg, Grasberg District, Indonesia, and it has one area with scarns with 2.8 gigatons, and the other area, the porphyry copper, uh, porphyry copper, porphyry system, 2.8 three gigatons. In both cases, we have, we have over 1% over, uh, of copper and uh, uh, gold, uh, and the porphyry has uh, more than one gram per ton. So it's very impressive, very big. Other example, OKTD, Papua New Guinea, uh, Canada, Mexico, Bingham, U Utah, United States, Mission, Arizona, United States. Uh, next one. A scan and a uh, Scarn and related deposits. So we have a scarn in this area. Proximal to the intrusive, we have porphyry. Proximal to the intrusive, we have grazing deposits. So this stuff from the intrusive will have CRD, carbonate replacement deposit. So it says, so in pattern, you need to find out where you are and find the vectors towards to the parts of uh, the system. Determine the causative intrusive. If you, you are in a scarn, find the uh, intrusive, that's the target. So next one. So in this case, uh, we are uh, carbon like deposit and carbon type deposits. Carbon type uh, deposits, unique type of deposits. It's, uh, it's up to date, it's only in Nevada, United States, and um, it's measured in ounces per ton. The lowest grade is uh, 0.1 ounces per ton. It's very impressive deposits. And next one, so scarns, scarns are typically zoned, you know, transfer heat and mass from intrusion or fluid conduits. So we have this intrusion, we have this limestone, everything in blue, light blue. And when we have ore and an intrusion, we call in the scarn. When we have in the limestone, we call exoskarn, but in this case, uh, we are calling massive metasomatic exoskarn. So, one of the distinctions, uh, uh, garnet and pyroxene ratios decreases to the limestone. Garnet uh, color is lighter to the limestone and Pearson color darker to the limestone. So if you are in the in the field just yes, uh, 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 taking uh, notes about these changes, 
you will find where is the intrusion. In manganese and pyroxenes and amphiboles increase in manganese minerals. So uh, at the end, you have uh, the bleached marble and marble itself and fresh or an altered limestone. You have uh, a calcosilicate horsemans, you have a reaction scars and fluid case uh, structures. Next one. This is a uh, redox stage of uh, gradient. So we have the oxidation uh, zoning in this area and the reduction to, to the limestone. The oxidation, it's uh, because the, uh, in the intrusion, something you will add as a um, silicon oxide. So that's the oxidation part of the system. So you have all these uh, um, calcosilicate minerals that want to use the um, silicon oxide. That's the oxidation zone. And the reduction zone, so once you, you get it uh, to, to the limestone, so it's going to be reduced. So the fluid of one time is going to no, uh, no more, uh, will not have more uh, elements to work with. So that's going the solution would be reduced. That's the the meaning. So in this case, uh, the, the same uh, factors that we saw in the in, in the previous graph in this case. And one thing very important: this uh, iron three will generate garnet, and iron two will generate pyroxenes. The most common uh, garnets are uh, grossular and uh, andradite, and the most uh, common. Uh, Pyroxenes, diapside, and hedenbergite. And all of them has SEO silica. Next one. So, effects of the wall rock composition calcium scars versus magnesium scars. Calcium scars, when it's a, you, you have a limestone, and you, you have mineralization in there. So, magnesium scars, so we're talking about dolomite. Dolomite is magne uh, uh, magnesium. Uh, Magnesium, magnesium carbonate rock. So, in this case, uh, it is the reduced uh, reduced uh, carbonaceous oxidized uh, he uh, hematitic bleach, and the, we have this uh, lime, uh, limestone. And from the intrusive, we'll see we have wallerstonite, pyroxene, and garnet. And so this is garnet, pyroxene and uh, wallerstonite. So this is the direction, you, on the other side, is the same garnet, pyrocene, uh, wallerstonite. And so when we change uh, the lithology or rock composition, calcarium you will have pyroxenes, you have uh, calcosilicate, horsefence, and sometimes contain or may not contain garnet. And then uh, you have the biotide horsefence, you have uh, pyroxene horsefence. Next one. So in this case, we add a porosity and a composition. And that means that uh, some horizons, some units or subunits are more favorable to have ore like this ones. And this is the as an example, I think, from uh, Antamina. But uh, the major source and everything uh, we have, uh, it's uh, going to be around the intrusive. Nice, right? Next one. So, nation um, in a uh, copper and scar, we have uh, the pluton or the intrusive. Yeah, this is the intrusive. We have uh, layers. Uh, yeah, um, horizontal or sub horizontal and the ore it's everything in black you see it's some favorable rocks only some favorable units and you, we can have some satellite uh, in this case sulfide uh, iron oxide mantle like and something we see is uh, copper percent we have a uh, 1.5 percent and further we have a uh, less than 5%. So closer to the intrusive, more ore, farther to the intrusive, less ore. The relationship, uh, uh, garnet, uh, in this case, more pyrox, uh, more garnet than pyroxene, and uh, in this area, more pyroxene than garnet. So we have a nation, uh, and, and that's uh, how C in the, in this one, so nation and sink, scar, Deposit, so we, we can see this is a uh, uh, satellite, you know, far from uh, from the intrusive or outside of the intrusive, and in this case, it's a reduced environment, right? So it's uh, farther from the intrusive, it's oxidized, and closer to intrusive, farther reduced. So you, you, you have uh, the intrusive in here, 
and all this uh, relationship proximal, intermediate, and distal, and the relationship with Garnet, uh, Garnet Pyrocene, uh, one to one, and this uh, no Garnet and, and distal. So, and all these relationships happen here. Next one. I like uh, this one, this is my favorite one. Um, Sonation and uh, uh, gold is carn in the porphyry, uh, gold is carn in the fortitude deposit in uh, United States in Nevada and um, I met him with uh, uh, Patrick Petruba who was the first one who wrote about this deposit very impressive and uh, we can see we have uh, this intu intrusive uh, dike like and at the end it's going to form like a seal uh, like the uh, in the sediments and something we can see, garnet, pyroxene relationship, two to one, two garnet, one, one pyroxene. In this case, you have one, one uh, garnet and 20 pyroxene. So it's up closer to the intrusive, farther uh, to the intrusive. And what's the uh, gold, uh, gold and silver relationship? You have one gold, 12 silver, in this case you have one um, <coughs> gold, 13 silver. And what what's the other relationship? We have copper and gold, 4 to 1, and we have 1 to 3. So gold uh, environment also, it's farther from uh, the intrusive, so it is in the reduced environment. But basically, and this is an exceptional deposit that all this had a, a gold value. So very impressive. impressive. Next one. And um, this is a zoning away from the intrusion from the uh, scar deposit. So this is closer to the intrusive. And uh, this is the dark, uh, dark uh, red garnet and light yellow garnet. And uh, this is the direction from the limestone. Right, so we map all these different uh, red and brown, and light yellow colors. We are gonna make the direction of the intrusive in that direction. That's the all this. This is Sonation and the marble front and um, gold scarn in Mexico. And we have uh, this garnet. We have this uh, 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 tonight and this. Bleach marble zone and dark marble. So dark marble is because in the sedimentary rock, it's natural to have carbon part of, part of the rock. So when it's not a leach out, it's black like that or dark. Next one. So in the summary, summary for scarification. This basically works for, for uh, copper uh, deposits, copper scar deposits. We can see all this red in some favorite units has more more ore than the others and this massive scar is interlaying thin bits of a shell uh, limestone and then this one is a uh, most of most of everything is limestone so then we have this calcario sealstone and uh, when the alteration we will will do calcosilicate horse fence and sometimes horse fence like this one there's there's no ore in this area so we have the intrusive and you know of course uh, we have uh, this sandstone and when the sandstone is recrystallized we become quartzite but, but we we don't have uh, ore in this case so that, that's basically uh, um, almost everything about mineralization of the scar deposits and if you want to know more and more because there are more of course you we can use this reference and gold, gold world scar deposits and from the SEG academic geology 100 anniversary volume and this is uh, Lawrence May, uh, Miner, it's very good one. And uh, the other very good one is scar zoning and patterns controlling. And this is the July 2020 from uh, SEG traveling lecture. And it has everything you can uh, see it. And, and uh, this presentation has everything coming from this uh, paper. 
many paper and some graph or most of the graphs coming from those okay thank you very very much i hope you like it you enjoyed it, and you learn a little bit more about um, amortization current deposit see you next time thank you thank you thank you